Hey, welcome back to the Sunday Serving Channel where you come for words of hope from the gospel. And uh, hey, we had this big snowstorm last week and then the rains came and melted all the snow. Rivers rose, we had flooding. So uh, there's always something new with the weather. Anyways, I was looking at the river flowing under the bridge there, thinking about the uh, Bible passages about roaring water, rushing water. And two Psalms came to mind that kind of speak about that God is so much stronger than any, anything. The power of rushing water, roaring water, we shouldn't be afraid, we should trust God. He is our, our strength, our refuge. So here we go, some Psalms to encourage you on this wet winter day. Psalm 93 goes like this. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He has put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from old. You are everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. Mightier, mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mightier. Isn't that comforting? Isn't that beautiful? God is so much stronger than any roaring or rushing of waves or anything that can roar. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. So beautiful psalm of comfort. And I also love uh, Psalm 46. It talks about the roaring of waters too. Here we are filming this by the roaring river, but above us we have the New York State Thruway roaring. So there's a lot of roaring going on. Um, here we go, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. So even where there's earthquakes or volcanoes, don't fear. God is above, God is stronger. He's our refuge and strength. <clears throat> it goes on here, I love this psalm. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when the morning dawns. And here it talks about all the wars and all the troubles in the world. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolation on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth, and he breaks the bow and shatters the spear, and he burns chariots with fire. So it's God, it's God who makes wars cease. We know we can't, we, have, we see wars we hear about all the political troubles and strife and there's, there's no human way that some of these problems can be solved. No amount of diplomacy seems to stop war. But here it says, he makes wars cease. And then I love this part. We should always remember this word in times of trouble. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So no matter what happens, God is with us. He is our strength, he is our fortress. Though the waters rage, though there be wars around us, though the mountains quake, doesn't matter. Whatever happens, God is stronger. So God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, week by week, we'll see what See what encouragement we can find from the gospel and in the world around us. But take care. See you next week. Go on, Remy.
Might be a little chilly to go swimming. <laughs>